is mostly a 25 <laughs> Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Stored Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. Joining me on the whiteboard is John Scaramuso, president of Smart Storage Systems. John, thanks for joining us again. My pleasure. Good to be here, George. Hey, John, last time we had you in, we talked a lot about different things in Flash and things we could do to increase uh, reliability, durability while bringing down price. One thing that seems to really not get really stuck through yet, I think, is the whole conversation about durability and really the, what the value of having a device that's durable is. Can you uh, kind of walk through that with us a little bit? Yeah, no, I think that's a great question. And I think it really stems from the fact that the, the world of storage has been dominated by hard drives mm -hmm. for the past six decades. Right. And with hard drives, the failure mechanisms have been really uh, re point failure, reliability failures, and not wear out mechanisms. We really don't see hard drives wearing out. You know, sometimes they could last 10, 15 years. Sure. Uh, so they go well past the warranty period, and there's no restrictions on usage or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so for the past uh, forever with hard drives, all we focus on is how much it costs, dollars per gigabyte. Right. And we watch that curve come down from thousands of dollars per gigabyte to pennies per gigabyte. Right. With SSDs, they're a consumable product. And mm -hmm. what I mean by consumable is that the flash that, are, that is used to build SSDs have a limited number of times you can actually write to them. Right. It wears it's out. Like, it wears out. Right. All right. And so we as an industry are paying far too little attention to the wear out mechanism of SSDs and far too much attention to the acquisition cost or the dollars per gigabyte, which is what has been historically associated with hard drives. Okay. S simple analogy is tires. When you go to buy a tire, do you just look at the price, or do you look at the tread wear? I look at, I look at tread wear, and how long is it going to last, how many miles I can get on the tire. Exactly. Right. I, I, I've joked that as a teenager, I only, only looked at the price because I only had so much money. And, and, and to some extent, the early years of SSDs are similar, where people are looking at the cost of an SSD, and they're really kind of ignoring the rest of the world. Right. And I think that's actually burning people. Okay. So I'd like to kind of show an analogy of, of two SSDs that are in the industry. Mm -hmm that kind of uh, give you a similar analogy to the tire wear okay. scenario. So let's just take uh, the, the parameter uh, dollars per gigabyte, right. which of course is the dominant parameter in hard drives and today in SSDs. Uh, we'll also look at how many times you can actually cycle the, the drive, how many times you can write to it and rewrite okay. to it. So we call these program erase cycles. Right. And then lastly, an analogy to what would be uh, a tire wear or tread wear mm -hmm. spec is uh, dollars per terabyte written. Okay. That's a bottom line. Right. right? When you buy a tire, it's $200 and it's 40,000 miles. You can do the math. It's, that's how much wear you get per dollar. Right. And that's a good way to, I, I think that's a good way to look at it because, you know, as we've discussed in the past is one of the problems I think that, that our viewers have in, in the industry is that everybody kind of shields this now behind a, okay, in, this is warrantied for five years, right? Almost implying don't worry about the other stuff, right? And so this gives you more of a true uh, indicator, right? A absolutely. In fact, these, both of these products are warrantied to five years. And I'm sure if you go back to your tire spec, it'll have a warranty period, but it'll be absolutely separate than its treadwear uh, warranty. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what's going on with SSDs. Okay. These two SSDs, both warrantied for five years, dollars per gigabyte, A, 60 cents, B, dollar 20. So now if you're in hard drive mode, you don't even look, you just buy, you buy the 60 you're cents. Done. <laughs> you're yeah. done. Yeah. It, 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 this is not even a conversation. Right. Uh, but if you look under the hood, of these two drives. The PE cycles on the 60 cent drives is about a thousand. Okay. PE cycles on the dollar twenty drive are fifteen thousand. Right. It's a significant difference. Right. One of the reasons why this is so low and expensive is because the flash can take so little cycles. Right. But now if you actually then look out through that five year period and you start actually using the drive and actually reading it and writing it and, and going forth, the actual cost per terabyte or dollars per terabyte written is actually twelve dollars, and that seems like a lot. But wait, <laughs> for this drive, it's forty cents. Wow. Okay, that's significantly different. So, this is this is so fundamental to what's going on in the industry right now. The world still thinks like hard drives. The world still thinks in dollars per gigabyte. And you know there are certainly some sophisticated customers out there that are doing the math, that understand the physics, and they're coming right out, and they, they don't get fooled by this. But there's a tremendous amount 
of, uh, in the industry right now that's going purely on acquisition costs. And if mm -hmm. they actually looked at the dollars per terabyte written, they would make a very different decision. Right, I know sure. I would. Right, absolutely. <laughs> well, and I think that they kind of look at this, and they look at five years, and then they think their job's done. They think right? you're done. Right. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and, and again, it's really hard to break trends. This is a new technology. It's not what the industry's used to. And this is the type of information that people really need to pay attention to. So, John, I think that gives uh, the viewers a really good way to, to rate drives and things like that. Obviously, you guys are, are talking about this for a reason. What are you guys doing to get these sort of uh, numbers? So, from our perspective, we, th we, we certainly value the dollars per terabyte written. That's the real metric that IT managers and data centers uh, have, have that, that, that's where they real, that's where money is really spent. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter if you buy a drive at 60 cents a gigabyte and you have to replace it six months later, uh, it's going to cost you a fortune over right. time. Yeah. So for us, we've put all of our technology focus into taking the lowest cost flash, which has PE cycles in this one to 3,000 uh, range, and developing technology that gets more, 15 or to as much as 40,000 PE cycles out of that flash. And frankly, we take a different approach. We look at uh, an SSD as a system of many flash units. Okay. And our view is not, you know, if we, if we build an SSD and it has many flash components on it, as all SSDs do, there's two schools of thought. Uh, some companies look at the capability of the individual flash mm -hmm. and the whole drive is equal to that one piece of flash. So if this is a 1,000 PE cycle flash, as in this drive, the drive is a 1,000 PE cycle flash. Mm -hmm. That's a very, I guess, uh, assembly mentality. Mm -hmm. We take a storage mentality. Storage mentality says we have lots of different elements of, or media elements on a, on a device. They all have different capabilities. It's physics, it's a distribution. Mm -hmm. And so we look at the whole distribution of parts on the drive and capabilities and we maximize the entire distribution so that at the end of the day our drive is better than any of its parts you know the holes greater right. than the parts so if we build a drive that's all out of 3 kp cycle parts uh, the drive itself the, what the customer sees what the customer pays for is mm -hmm. 15,000 cycles got it okay very and, good and from a technology perspective that allows us to give the best dollars per terabyte written value in the industry awesome all right well john thanks for joining us today my pleasure George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in.